unchanging and virtually indestructible. Not long ago, that's how we viewed nature, especially the ocean. It seemed to provide us with both an endless supply of food and a bottomless pit for our waste. It brought dangers as well, but what didn't occur to us until recently is that we might be more dangerous to it than it is to us. How did we get to this point? How could frail little creatures like ourselves threaten the health of the globe-spanning ocean? Our intentions were never bad. We just wanted to make life easier for ourselves, so we invented stronger stuff. No harm in that, right? Here in the polar regions of Norway, we have a lot of experience with watching our traditional building materials lose the battle against nature. And we've benefited greatly from the invention of new, non-degradable materials. The problem is that we never stopped improving and eventually the materials we came up with became too robust for nature to handle on its own. Plastics, metals, chemicals, these are double-edged swords. Very useful in the right circumstances, very harmful in the wrong. It's clear that we need to stop filling the ocean with waste, and Delitec was founded for this very purpose. Storing waste on board takes up a lot of space, so in order to do it most effectively, we have to reduce its volume. And to do that, we need machines with robustness exceeding that of whatever they're set to compact. Nobody makes onboard waste handling machines like Delitec. Our instinctive obsession with quality has developed over centuries of battling the harsh conditions of our native northern Norway and has now become an advantage for us. A high quality stainless steel equipment simply doesn't break down, whatever the conditions and wherever it may be in the world. Not unlike the materials they're designed to handle. Delitec onboard waste handling equipment. Because it takes one to stow one. <laughs>